Hello everyone, this is part two, building on to the last video I did when I reviewed. Let me get, let me get the thumbnail here. Yeah, I don't like doing that either, but um, we got Trader Joe's Organic Coral Brew. It also says um, Nitro Infused for Organic Espresso, 100% Arabic Coffee, which just means it came from some country that they label that stuff as. Um, zero calories, if you actually want to read that, it's just calories or anything. Zero calories, um, got some potassium in there. Ingredients, organic cold brew, coffee water, organic Arabica, Arabica coffee beans, organic espresso. I mean, yeah, um, it has some stamp of this, say, certified organic, you know, stuff and everything for people who are like, Oh my god, if I'm that, if it's not organic, man, no, it's not. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm cringing too. But, um... Yes, as you can see, dude, it feels so nice for me right now. But, um, yeah, I've already tried this before, but I'm going to give you a better review and actually pour it into a glass so that you can see, because not a lot of people do that. So, I'm going to call this Trader Joe's R&R. &R, just do it twice. I know. I'm instead of part two. But, <laughs> all right, get trying it so I don't lose anybody. We got to pull the ring here, then we're going to pull it out. Have a little stuff coming out. There we go. Everything's off. It smells like coffee. Chocolate notes, definitely chocolate notes. It just smells like coffee. It just smells like if you opened up a thing of Folgers, and sniffed it. That's exactly what it smells like. It walks in, like you smell like you walk into a small coffee shop. It smells like coffee. Yeah, it smells like coffee. All right, boys, well, let's try it. Okay, it says pour hard here. I want to put half it. I actually like it in the bottle and everything. So it's weird like that. I'll finish you know half it real quick. Pour cap out. Pour hard. Activate tip bot. Put tip bottle vertically and pour it cup. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Got a little bit in there to compare. As we can start to see, it is now getting crusty up top. And there is slowly a layer of gas coming up to top like a glass of sweet tea. As you can see, it's almost like milky white now. So, that's very nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, there is definitely just like a layer coming up. I don't want to switch the format to vertical. Sometimes my thing does that, but um, yeah, there's definitely a layer there of coffee. All right. Oh, yeah, it's even leaving like a residue. It's pretty creamy. So, let's try it out. I'm going to try it out here first. Let's do a different texture. Smooth. Kind of acidic. It's definitely bright. It tastes bright, which basically that means it tastes like it tastes acidic, like lemon juice, but not in a bad way. I mean, if you're just a normal person who's used to you know mocha frappuccinos and you know like you know people who put creamer in their coffee and everything, nothing wrong with putting creamer in coffee or flavor in your coffee whatsoever. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. But if you person who personally drinks it like that, just like straight up like all the time, don't go to black coffee. This probably isn't for you simply because it's just it's strong it's strong tasting i have a well-developed palate so i know you know what things supposed to taste like and what things are bad but it's not bad it is just bright it's you know if you don't like coffee don't drink it it tastes like coffee that's all i gotta say it tastes like coffee so let's see if it has creamy effect now <laughs> it tastes really watery like watery as hell yeah it tastes just watery because it's cold I don't know it just tastes watery to me it really just tastes watery it tastes more watery in the glass here but but the thing is hold on is that cold brew coffee and everything it's it's just water and coffee i mean there's really nothing so i mean nitrogen isn't exactly giving the creaminess it just tastes like cold brew so it's not bad water i, I mean to me it's it's, it's kind of watery but for most people for most people it's just cold brew it's just water and coffee beans all right put together it tastes like coffee it's supposed to be it's not supposed to you know when you have cream in your thing it's not going to taste that water in your thing it tastes more creamy instead of like this, so maybe we another sip.
Yeah, it's it's bright. It's it's definitely bright. I mean, it's nothing too crazy. I mean, it's it's bright, which just means acidic. Um, but it's not bad acidic. It's not like undrinkable. It's very nice. It tastes great. Let me finish off the bottle here. Cheers. I mean, it's just kind of watery. I mean, hopefully it has some caffeine in it. Yeah. <laughs> Towards the bottom, it gets a little bit interesting. Oh, all right. It's basically, like I said, if you're not into cold room, this probably isn't for you. Personally, I like these. I've had them before. I bought the can to review it anymore. Tastes like coffee, because it is coffee. So I'm going to go have um, pop heart palpitations because I just chugged, you know, 100% air, but, you know, organic espresso. It's not even cold for them. I mean, if you don't know, it's everything. It says organic espresso here and everything. But the thing is, it's cold brew. Okay, cold brew is something that was brewed. Okay, my, I, I, my knowing of cold brew, for something you classify as cold brew, it has to be brewed cold. It, what that means... Oh, jeez. Something's going on. <laughs> but, um, um, basically and everything is cold brew and everything. It's, um, you make sure coffee's brewed cold. So, basically and everything is that when you take hot water, okay, if you don't know, heat affects activation energy, which affects, you know, reverse reactions. This and all these reactions that you learn in science, like 10th grade science and everything that you all forgot. I don't I haven't forgot them. I just don't match them. So I might be using them completely wrong. Basically, reactions will happen when molecules. When things bounce off each other to make things, reactions happen, right? So, um, it's not a catalyst, I don't think. So basically, okay, what I'm trying to say is that hot water will brew coffee because it messes with the bonds atomic bonds faster than let's say cold brew but cold brew makes a different flavor so basically that's why you can brew coffee fast like on the hop and everything when you're doing a drip coffee maybe, you know press say be done in 15 minutes but you see a cold brew or an actual cold brew you're gonna need to put that in there for more than an hour two hours i like to put it in there for six to twelve sometimes 24 to make a good cold brew because it takes time for it to seep into the coffee it's just it's just not bad because if you over extract it, it's just, it's just not that, it's not that good, man. All right, you don't want to under extract it either. And... Okay, maybe that's there was some caffeine in there, but um, I, do, I don't even know why my voice is picking up my phone. I don't, I don't even know. All right, I don't even know why you clicked on this review. I don't, I don't know, man. Welcome to my channel if you're still here. But um, <clears throat> yeah, it was pretty good, not gonna lie. Um, I mean, it's coffee. Definitely coffee. Yeah, geez. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's just, it's just so I, I don't die. All right, we're, we're gonna chug twenty ounces of water right here to this place. <laughs> the, the the concoction I put in my body and chug that fast. Oh, I just realized <laughs> I just drunk that that fast. Yeah, you see, I'm more a person who drinks like caffeine beverages throughout the day. Like, I'll open a monster, and now it lasts me about four hours, and I throw it. So I take that 150 milligrams of caffeine, and I ingest it through a period of time instead of all at once. So basically, I have continuous energy like that. But then when you drink something at once, you have you have your initial. High, crash. Sometimes when you're high, you can fucking die. <laughs> but <laughs> but it, it's all good. Again, the thing is that sometimes caffeine can make you anxious. And my best guess from drinking a, a bit of way too much energy drinks on the regular. When I was younger... And just don't feed into the anxious. You stay clear up here. It's anxious because if you anxious yourself up, you're going to get adrenaline pumping, cortisol through your veins. 
on top of caffeine, which is going to be very tough on your heart if you're stressing. So do not stress. If you consume a large amount of caffeine very quickly, there. I mean, this this at most is 600 milligrams of caffeine. All right. I mean, I used to drink you know three two pots of coffee a day, man. I mean, I I've had I've done drunk a lot of caffeine through my life. All right. I was gonna say done everything, but I mean caffeine is a drug, but man, that classifies no. But the thing is, is that do not just drink it that fast, especially if you are sensitive to caffeine. Hold on. Jeez, I am no doctor. Remember that I am I am no doctor. All right. Do not do not take my advice as serious. Okay. But I'm just telling you from my experience and everything is that if you're sensitive to caffeine, don't drink or chug anything. Okay? You know, it's your first daring to dream a drink an energy drink if you're sensitive to caffeine and don't I mean at least make sure you have water there. But then chugging it, yeah, I don't that wouldn't that probably wouldn't be good. Yeah, but if I do have heart palpitations or anything, which I most, you know, a little heart attack, I mean, unless it's I mean a heart attack is basically a part of your heart dying, but um heart palpitations, irregular heart rhythms are more common. I mean, if it persists, I mean, you know, <laughs> go to the doctor, but the thing is, don't feed into the anxious that your body puts through you or anything. It's kind of like, um, if you drink caffeine really fast or anything, the same effect is kind of, um, it's like taking, a, okay, I was going to say, taking a bite of something that you cannot chew, something like that. Basically, if you take something that's big, you cannot, don't think you're going to be able to do it. So it's like, kind of like, um, signing a mortgage and then like after be like oh my god but you can't go into anxious or you're just gonna be stressing about them stressing about stressing about it the life advice of isaac all right don't stress about anything oh man i'm not jittering but you see i don't think i'm jittering maybe slightly but yeah i should probably go work out now but <laughs> I don't even know why I'm still filming, but, um, okay, I'm just more water. Yeah, it's like the fallout of, like, just doing that. I don't, oh, my God. Things are, like, becoming, like, two colors. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but... Remember, don't become anxious. Just be yourself. Be happy. And drink cold, bro. Stay calm. Cheers. I just have like the thing. Yeah, I was hoping no one, no one watches this video ever. Bye.